Hi everyone. Uh, in today's video, I am going to go through uh, a chat uh, GPT AI, or sorry, an AI chatbot powered by ChatGPT. There's, there's a marketplace where you probably have noticed since uh, ChatGPT released their API that there's this marketplace of websites and tools that have popped up that um, are quickly giving people access to build your own chatbot uh, and things like that. So this is one of them. Um, I saw someone use this in a uh, in another. Um, in another forum and thought I would uh, I would play with it. They have since decided that it's fairly useless and it's interesting though to see what some of these things are doing and what we need to think about when we come to these. So um, because some, a lot of these things uh, are offering, um, you know, some have free versions, some are like 10 bucks a month, $50 a month, et cetera, et cetera. So what, they, what this site has done is it's actually given you some demo bots that you can kind of play with. So I started playing with one, and what I found was that it actually went off the rails after my second question. I'm going to walk you through that, and we're going to go through it again and see if it can actually work a second time. But this is the conversation I had. And so um, you can see here that one, a knowledge base bot, a bot trained on Cron's help center knowledge base. So I asked it, what is Cron? And it answers this calendar app. And that, so I was curious. So I thought, because one of the critiques of ChatGPT is that it doesn't give sources of information, right? So I thought, well, what's your source for this information? Thought was a pretty you know, nebulous, mindless question, and suddenly it got confused. And it talked about cron, which is which is this this technical term. There is something called a cron job. Um, I know only from my website where you can run things in the background, for example, running Moodle, and it essentially schedules scripts to run automatically at specific times. And that's sometimes where you get your notifications from and things like that. So suddenly it went and told me, um, actually, I was, I'm wrong. It's this thing. And it gives me a, a Wikipedia link that takes me to um, so, uh, uh, you know, a decent and exact uh, exactly what it's what's what it's being described and what my understanding is of cron. So, so I asked, okay, but in 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 your makers actually um, just back over here I suggested what is cron as one of the first questions. So I asked it, why do you think they would prompt us to ask a question you would get wrong? And then it talks about I apologize for the confusion and and I was talking about this with someone earlier and um, one of the things with ChatGPT and others that I that you'll know this already because everyone's talking about it that is so interesting is that it's incredibly conversational so it feels like you're talking to some to a person it feels like you're talking to something that's thinking and as we'll see in the point of this video is that it's not right it's just been p badly programmed uh, or coded for example so I'm sorry for the confusion it seems there was a miscommunication between between me and my makers, right? So again, it's like, oh, this thing is thinking. They might have suggested to, for what is a cron to, as a prompt to provide me, but I mistakenly provided information about the product. Well, in fact, they were right because this is what it's being trained on allegedly, which is a product, a next generation calendar for professionals and teams. Now, don't ask me why these people chose this name. It's utterly confusing, but they did. That's what techies do, right? Um, so somehow though, it got confused. I, I apologize. So then I said, but it looks like you were actually trained on this template, which is what it says up here, trained on the cron center template. So why, which answer is correct? And now it comes right back. Oh, you're right. Based on my training on that template, the correct answer is what it's been trained on, basically. So the question is, why is something that's been trained on something so specifically, right? It's been trained on this help center template. Why does it even have access to the web? Why is it going outside of its mandate? And so for me, and so a lot of times what people would say is, oh, this is a, a, a hallucination, right? And I've been, I've been following and reading some AI ethics people who talk about we need to not talk about it in that way. So if you're not familiar with Ravit Dotan, she's an AI uh, and data ethicist, and, she, and I follow her and we're connected on, on LinkedIn. And she wrote a post just a few days ago that explains this and was really useful for me to see. Um, uh, and and uh, it's a conversation we need to have, right? So we need to stop using the term chat GPT hallucinations. And I, I won't go through it all, but basically this is the problem. You notice that the definition shifts for the blame. It's as if it's the AI's fault, but it is in fact the company or the coder's fault. So companies make technology are responsible for what their technology does. There is no hallucination. And she suggests that we use the more appropriate term of misinformation because it's the term we use for other cases of false or inaccurate information. And this is super important because what she's talking about is we can modify, we can be very specific. This is a training failure misinformation. So in this case, if it's been trained on something, okay, it, it, it appears to access that information. Or is this a coding 
failure misinformation. So in this case, while it's answering and thinking, the question is, why is it connected to the rest of the internet to provide sources like Wikipedia, for example, which in this case clearly confused it about what cron is, because if it's going to search for cron on the internet, it's going to come up not with this new product, but it's going to come up with multiple millions of, of, of files and websites related to cron, the Unix um, the Unix op the, uh, the the time-based scheduler as it talks about here so that would seem to be a coding failure where the coders of the of the of the bot have given it access to more information than it actually needs in order to do the job that it's doing which is very specific so this is a chat bot that in theory you can I can pay fifteen dollars a month for and it would access my website or a, a series of documents or things like that but what's interesting is that it really raised for me um, the the idea of this conversation we need to be having around hallucination versus misinformation and I think it's really important that we start having that as a conversation okay as I mentioned I'm gonna go back into the tool and see what happens if oh interesting it's remembering what I wrote what happens if I do this again so what is cron and I'll go I'll we'll get the answer in a second but let me I'm just gonna pull in each question and see how it answers it differently cron is a calendar app so that is pretty much the same slightly different text. You can see that the line is longer, which means it's played with the text a little bit. But let's see. Okay, so it's answering it's answering it in the same way. So let's uh, let's just keep going and see how it replies to this to the same series of questions. So it's not learning. And I mean, does AI learn every time you use it is part of the, the conversation and part of the question um, that we need to be focused on, right? Because so it hasn't learned since the last time. And maybe you know, that high powered AI might do that. But we also know that there's a lot of intervention that needs to happen with people to make things better. And that's something that is certainly really interesting. So um, let's see which led to the incorrect response. I rely on information provided me by training data and algorithms um, here provided me in the context. So it's answering it slightly differently. Might have been worse interpretation. I strive to provide accurate answers. I will continue to learn and improve based on feedback. So that's interesting. It's that's a, it's added some of that sort of stuff. So let's see what it says. What do you think you would get so wrong? I apologize for the confusion. Yeah, it seems there was a miscommunication in my programming. Oh, and a miscommunication between me and my makers. So that's interesting. It's because it's being less familiar, more formal, which is very interesting. The context provided did not refer to the job schedule, but to a different application. Oh, oh, on. I'm programmed to provide, and I provided incorrect information. I will. Con so it's answering it differently already, which is which is really interesting. So I'm just going to ask this final question. Um, to see what uh, what it suggests now. Based on the context, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so it's adding a little bit more information, but it's a, it's a, it's a fairly similar um, way of answering it, although it changes slightly, which is, which is quite interesting. So there you go.